Hi, welcome back to Strength and Conditioning TV. It's me, Brendan Chaplin, and I'm here with Sophie Wood. How are you doing today, Soph? Good, thank you. Just Good. about recovered from our sled challenge. From the, sled last, challenge. the last escapade, yeah. Yep. yeah. And ready for more pain today? Yeah, totally. Cool, I like it. So today what I've got is a little cable circuit. And it's a good one. I've been using it for a number of years with different sports, different athletes. It came from the mixed martial arts background, looking at those movement patterns, but it's a great just all-rounder for, for any sport. So you're going to enjoy this one, so yep. feel good about this. Okay, so the first one of these three cable movements is a squat and single arm pull. Yep. So you're going to grab the cable and into a deep squat, up into your toes and pull that cable right yep. through and get that elbow right back, get some really good extension through your rotator cuffs, etc. with it. So we do, for this, for this demo bit, before we put it together, just do three on each side, so, okay, so nice deep squat, and through, good, yeah, that's it, find where you're comfortable with it, see how it likes to pull you back there, so you've got to get down quickly into that squat position, up and then down, that's it, good, that's it, yeah, you've got to manage that, you've got to manage that, so same thing on the left now, good, and then down quick, good, good, that's it, so that's the first one. It's like my side's better than right. Yeah. Well, the, the weakness, you're most vulnerable when you're in that position there, because yeah. it'll pull you there. So the idea is you get there, and then you drop yeah. quick, and then it'll keep, you'll keep, keep on, on top of it, yeah. The next one is going to be um, shoulder height, or just below, that should be about right. And we'll do, both hands will do it as a rotation. So you're going to come right through and, and extend on the other side. Okay, so a bit slower your base a little bit, and then just go for it. That's it. Good. 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 Now try it the other side. Good. 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 We'll try it. We'll just keep on that theme. We'll lower the weight a little bit. And just try to see if you can get your arms from straight here to straight there. Straight around the Straight to straight, yeah. Yep. And imagine you've got that kind of pole going through you and you're just swiveling on that, okay? That's it. Good. That's it. Stay nice and low. Good. That's it. And then face this way. A bit further out to start. Yep. Good. That's it. That's it. Get those hips moving with it as well. That's it. Time. Good. And then the final one, we're going to do a, basically a punch, but it's not like for power, it's for stability. So you're going to set yourself up so the arm that's back, that leg's back as well. Yeah. Turn that foot forward here. And then just driving through and back. Driving through and back. Okay? Yep. So get a bit of space, get a bit of tension. Go into like a bit of a split squat. Bend that, that left knee. And then just through and keep your core nice and tight. That's it. Good. Tough so on the balance, yeah. isn't it? Yep. Good. Cool. Try the other side. And then bend that right knee. And then just turn your hips through. Try and extend that glute on that side. Yeah, that's it. Drive through that right hip. Good. One more. Good. And time. That's it. Well, how does that one feel? Tough. Tough, yeah. It's like shoulder stability. Yeah, it? yeah. Well, you've got to really be stable through your core, yeah. your trunk, to allow you to do that, I think. That's the main thing. Yeah. So we're going to put them together. Right. We'll start back at the bottom on, okay. the, on the rows. I'll give you a little bit more weight on this one. And then we'll drop the weight down right at the bottom, yeah. I'll drop the weight a little bit for the other two. So this one, you're going to go six on each side, okay? You're going to actually have really good go to get some power on this one, okay? 
So I'll take it in whichever hand you want to start with. And then remember, when you get to the top, you want to be dropping straight away. Okay, good squat with it. Off you go. And straight down. Lovely. Good. 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 That's it. Switch hands. Good. Nice. That's really good. That's really good. All right, so let's bring it up. Drop the weight a little bit. Yeah, that's probably... Well, we'll do it. We'll try that. Because yeah. you're going to get a little bit lower anyway. So we're going to go nice and low and really powerful with it. Imagine yeah. you... Yeah, you want to even be like sort of hitting a baseball or something like that. Yeah. Swivel through those hips. Off you go. Power, good. Power, good. And really keep upright. Turn your hips. That's it, good. Nice. And switch to the side. <coughs> Get that right hip driving, bang, right through. Nice, good. Good. Power, good. Four, last two. Six, good, and time. Okay, last one. So when you get this off, Soph, yeah. you almost want to come back in, so sort of come back in and get it in front of you, and then walk it out like that. Yeah, yeah otherwise you end up like kind of doing it from there. So it's not the best for your shoulders. That's it. That's it. So keep it tight. There you go. Into your split squat. Then bend that knee. Nice and upright here. Go with it. Good. Good. Nice and tight through your core. Good. We're going to enter you into a boxing match after this, so... Yeah, we're, tra we're, we're training you for it. That's it, I can see. We could, get, we could even get the, the pads out here. Bang, right in. That's it. Bend that left knee, then right out. Boom, that's it. That's your, that's your jab right there. Actually, it's your cross. Don't let it go too far behind you. Just keep it at your shoulder there, yeah. That's it. Good. 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 That's it. Time. How does that feel? That's a lot harder when you do it in a second. Yeah. Putting when the middle together. Spread, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely a lot harder. Which, which one of the three do you find most challenging to you? That. The last one. one. Yeah. yeah. Again, the same. It's a movement that mm. I'm unfamiliar with. Yeah, it is, yeah. So that rotational movement. A... Yeah, in that way. Yeah. Push out your comfort zone a little bit. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, new. yeah, yeah. Well, it's a I nice, this, this stringing those three together gives you the power work in there rotationally yeah. as well as some stability and yeah. some control. And that's really, that's how you really get to be powerful is having the expression of force but on a stable base. Yeah. Um, so it's a, it's a good one for, for you to do even as a linear athlete, yeah. r sprinting, even for you as like an off-season, just kind of moving well and getting yeah. you into the mix of things. No, cool. it's good. I enjoyed it. Yeah. Things, so it's good. Cool, cool. All right, guys, so there's three cable exercises you can play with, and we will be back with another episode of Strength and Conditioning TV very soon, where we'll be bringing you insights into how to train well, insights from the best athletes, and just different things you can try in your own training or in your own coaching. Thanks for watching.